What's going on, everybody? Poji Force here. You're watching Poji Force Plays, and welcome back after a long hiatus to Valheim. The Hearth and Home Outdated is finally out, and honestly, I am pretty excited about it. There's already been some major changes, and this being the day after the release, even more changes have already rolled through the pipeline. So before I hop in and start showing you those changes physically, let's go over the patch notes. Okay, so patch 0.202.14, Hearth and Home. We're not even in 1.0 yet. The game is still in beta. General improvements, weapon rebalanced. All weapons have been rebalanced to be more viable as main weapons and also have more unique playstyles. This is good because the Mjolnir hammer, I forget what it was called, was basically the best weapon in the game, practically speaking. Silver is good against undead. Uh, I think it also did poison damage, which was really strong. So the other weapon types, there wasn't much value in using them. Hopefully this means that other weapons, because I've always been more of a sword guy, uh, will have more value. Blocking system overhauled. Current maximum HP now greatly affects your ability to block attacks. And a stagger bar GUI has been added. This is good too, because it makes it easier to tell when you're about to be staggered. I've always been a tower shield guy. Those of you who've watched my old Valheim videos know I'm a tower shield guy. Always have been. Naming tamed creatures. Really cool. Easier to tell them apart. Uh, can ma make that bond with your wolves, you know? I have not tamed any wolves yet. I need. To, I haven't tamed any animals yet. I've tried to tame some boar, but I haven't gotten there yet. So, we'll see how this works. Uh, graphic settings. Active point lights and active point light shadows. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I missed a few. Gamepad sensitivity settings. That's good. Auto pickup toggle button added. I've already goofed around with the new changes already. So I've actually discovered the toggle button for that by accident. It's V. If you don't want to auto pick up everything as you walk over it, you press V. That way you can run over items and not have to worry about them filling up your inventory. Tamed creatures are affected by friendly fire setting, i.e. you can't accidentally hurt a tamed creature. Um, you have to enable friendly fire. Or there's a new butcher's knife item that you can use to uh, intentionally harm animals. So it's like if you want to say... Go kill some boar for the meat. You bring your butcher's knife. Various other improvements and bug fix. There is a food rebalance. Most food items now only give mainly stamina or mainly health. To make food choices more interesting. Fuji UI overhauled to work better with the rebalanced food and over 10 new things to eat. They say actually 12. I found some of these new things. And we'll talk about them in greater detail when we get in the game. Tamed locks now have a purpose. You can ride them is the thing. Simple slimy locations and creatures added to planes. New plantable seeds, birch, oak, and onions. So we have another food item. And birch and oak seeds, you can finally plant those to regrow your fine wood trees. That was a problem that I had with the game. Was that fine wood is, ba is very much an end game, an end game resource. Because you use it for all of like the really cool embellishments and final touches that you'd put on your buildings. But it was a limited resource. There was no seeds for them. Now there is. Items, new weapons, crystal battle axe, and silver knife. That's right, you finally have a use for all that crystal from those golems that kick your ass. New shields, bone tower shield, iron buckler. I've seen the bone tower shield. It's interesting, it's another use for bone, which I think is cool. It's another tower shield, which I also think is cool. I've already moved past that with my main character, so the bone tower shield isn't particularly valuable to this character, but it's good that they have it. For characters who are on progression, it's nice to have these other options. Another buckler and another tower shield is good. Butcher's Knife, as we mentioned before, you can butcher tamed animals. Thunderstone, which is sold by the trader. I'll have to look into that, see what that's about. Locks Accessory, which I believe is the uh, saddle that I just mentioned. Buildings, new dark wood building pieces like shingle roofs, beams, decorations, and more. I need to start replacing the thatch roof on my, um, on my longhouse with the dark wood shingles, because that would just really increase the air of... We are experienced, well-traveled warriors, and we're not afraid of anything. Beans, decorations, and more. I need to find this dark wood. New type of furniture, including but not limited to a mighty stone throne. I have the recipe for the stone throne. We might make one of those today. Steamy Viking hot tub. I do not have the recipe for that, and I'm wondering what that would look like. Crystal walls. I have made some crystal walls. It turns out they best serve as glass. We'll get into greater details about that in a minute. New types of stacks to show off your treasure and resources. I've done that. I'll be glad to show you those. Cauldron improvements. I have a kitchen now. 
I've built a kitchen. I've built all of these improvements. It looks really cool, and I'm happy to show it to you. Cartography table, also built that because my friends have explored parts of my world that I have not. Oven added, I've built that. Obliterator added, I have not built that. You need the oven now for bread and pie. So the memes of making bread in a cauldron is gone. You still make the raw dough in the cauldron, but then you have to bake it in the oven. Iron cooking station, required to cook some types of meat. My guess would be the lox meat because of how big it is. I've built a couple iron cooking stations. They are big. They're probably best served for a hearth. Um, but as I said, more has been done since then. So if we look down here in the bottom left, we have a, an additional change log. Rebalanced HP stamina on most foods. More stamina on HP foods and more HP on stamina foods, as examples. Um, this is true because certain foods, for what I've seen, the meats are mostly HP and the fruits and vegetables are mostly stamina. Mushrooms and a few other things are kind of a mix. Um, it was very one-sided. So if you were eating a bunch of meat, you had almost no stamina. But if you're eating a bunch of vegetables, you had almost no HP. So I haven't seen what the rebalance looks like yet. I guess we'll find out when we get in game. Fixed tar pit, not spawning on dedicated server worlds. I've not seen a tar pit. All because this is an older world. Slightly lower HP on fuelings and fueling shamans. This is good because fuelings were still too strong. Slightly easier to stagger fuelings. Again, good. Fuelings were still too strong. Fixed issue with pressing I in server list while trying to filter servers. Don't know what that means. Lower bow stamina use. Thank you. I was having so much trouble using the bow yesterday. I could like get maybe two shots and then was out of stamina. I would have over a hundred stamina and I would run out of stamina after firing like two shots. Full, two fully drawn shots. Cage wall, one by one physics fixed. Already placed pieces will probably need to be repositioned. Boars now also eat blueberries, raspberries, and mushrooms. This is good. And uh, Chinese translations fixed. So, all right. So some of these are still going to be new to me, uh, but I can show you some of the stuff that I have explored. I'm excited to share with you what I've seen. And I've already got some cool ideas of things that I can build using the resources that I've already found. And... Yeah, it's going to be fun. Let's hop on in and I'll show you what I've done. Alright, so we're here in my master bedroom, which hasn't changed much. So we're going to go out here. And the first thing I want to show you is the crystal wall. You might be able to see some of it already. I haven't been able to build more yet, but it's a little one by one piece. And uh, as you can see, it serves great for windows. It fits in there about the same width as a wooden wall. So once I get more crystal, I'm going to be filling in these larger windows and turning them into like glass windows. I think it's going to be really cool looking once it's done. We go down to the main chamber. I've moved all of my... Um, I've actually destroyed most of... I've moved a couple of my uh, meat barrels. And then over here, we've got all my piles and piles of gold. Yes. I want to build a vault. But I'm not sure if I'm going to build it here because I want to do like an actual big stone castle. Oh, and yes, these are the iron uh, cooking racks that I've mentioned. As I said, they are very big. Probably meant for lox meat. You can hang, I think it's five pieces of meat on each. Yes, my stacks and stacks of gold. Yes. <laughs> if we go into the war room now. This is not the barracks. We only have the one barracks now. But there's only the one barracks. Go into the war room. And here is my cartography table. I'm going to do more to spruce this up and make it more interesting. But yes, this is the cartography table. And actually, if I pull up my map. So, if I click this off, it's going to... As you see, big chunks of the map just disappeared. Those were things that I had picked up from the cartography table. Stuff that I have not personally explored, but which friends who have been in my world have explored. And it's a little dimmer, and it, there's a bit of a delineation line between what they've done and what I've done. Also, the grayed out icons are the icons that they've placed. You can click on them to keep them, or you can right click them to delete them. I found out that you can now accidentally delete, uh, or I, sh I say accidentally because it was an accident for me. Uh, my Ikthir was here, I accidentally deleted his token and I can't seem to get it back. But yes, oh, and this is a great example of the new wood shutter for Windows. 
So I've redone most of the windows on the first floor. And this is the kitchen. As I said, I've moved my fermenters. And are you ready for this? I'm actually really proud of the kitchen. You ready? Uh, everything is built. I am thinking I might put another fermenter right here. But I got the butcher's table. I've got the oven. I've got some regular cooking stations. Then my cooking pot, my spice rack, and my pots and pans. So I have a level 4 cooking station. And let's see. If we go in here, we got some uh, new items. We got black soup. Uh, this provides a bit more stamina now, which is good. 50 health, 17 stamina. Requires a blood bag, honey, and turnips. Um, let's see. Boar jerky is a new thing. Um, just take some boar meat and honey. They've created a lot of things that use honey now that are a lot e easier to make. So I feel like they're good for, like, uh, low resource foods if you don't have a whole lot of different uh, food resources on hand. Or if uh, you just are early into the game. Boar jerky, I think, will be a great one early into the game because it only requires a level one cooking station. And then it just takes boar meat and honey, both of which are fairly easy to get early in. Bread dough is now what you need to make bread. And then this one right here, ice cream. I've got six of them on me right now. Is one of my new favorite foods. It's 65 stamina, 21 health. I think this actually used to be more stamina, but they sacrificed some stamina for health. Still pretty good, though. And the reason why I like it, three gray dwarf eyes. There's finally another use for gray dwarf eyes. We haven't, haven't much of a use for Grey Dwarf Eyes, I think, except maybe a couple for portals. This, I think, is it. But I have a... Like, let me show you. Over here. And one Freeze Claim. But let me show you over here. These are stacks of 50. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 750 Grey Dwarf Eyes. I used to have more, but I cooked a bunch of ice cream. And then a friend of mine took some for a portal. So... Yeah. So let's see what else we got new in the cauldron. Uh, let's see. The unbaked lox pie. So when you're making the lox pies, you have to make the unbaked one first, and then it goes in the oven. I don't have any lox meat, so I can't make that right now. We have the muck shake, uh, which uses ooze, believe it or not. And it's also a pretty good stamina item. Uh, you, I have a bunch of those made as well. Ooze, raspberry, and blueberry. So not bad, actually. It's a pretty good stamina item. Wolf jerky, pretty good universal item. Wolf meat is now what you get from wolves. And honey, so really easy to make. And that's actually a pretty decent spread. That's why I have actually a number of them here. From my experience, I have found that one food item, one stamina item, one HP item, and one mixed item is a good balance to have good, both good health and good stamina. The uh, red fork means that it is an HP item. The white fork means that it is a balanced item. And the... Yellow fork means that it is a stamina item. And down here, you can see now, as I said, they changed the GUI. It shows you what foods you've eaten and how much longer they have to digest. Another cool thing that they've added, I'm going to go back in here and show you. i go into my berries. Buke Perries allows the consumer to quickly evacuate any misplaced meal and start anew. Health regeneration minus 100%. Stamina regeneration minus 100%. Movement speed minus 50%. So if you want to... Start over with your meal. You eat these, and you purge all the food out of your stomach. It's probably really gross. I've not eaten one. This is the only one I have. Um, but it lets you start over. As I said, fruits and vegetables are all stamina. You can see by all the yellow forks. If we go into the cooked foods area where I have a lot of meats, you can see that those are all red forks. And then boar jerky is also a silver fork or a balanced item. Bread is still the best stamina item in the game. The piles of gold do kind of uh, clip a little bit, which is unfortunate. So since I have you here and I've shown you pretty much everything that I have done so far, I thought it would be fun if we did a little bit more. Um, I kind of got an idea on how to make a boar pin for the purposes of taming animals. So I am going to actually try to make a boar pin. There's plenty of boars around here. We go down here to the farm, where I've been doing my farming. And I think I had set up an area across the way. I was terraforming it. Where I wanted to put my boars. There's a boar there. I need a bunch of uh, trees. So let's get some wood here real quick. Clears it out a little bit more too. So we have more room. 
I'm also going to need to build a uh, crafting table over here. Radar. I forgot to mention that the Buke Parries that I got um, came from a Grey Dwarf. Apparently, it's a rare drop that they that they provide. I might need to do some terraforming, so give me a moment. I actually forgot that I was taming boars over here, but it seems that something had happened. So we're going to recycle this wood so we can use it again. Now you remember it's very important to keep, try to keep your uh, animals away from fire. This is why I'm not putting them over there with the rest of the farm. I'm gonna eat some more food, keep myself healthy and well fed. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna build ourselves a little hutch for the pigs. Bop. Bop. And let's see. Now that we've got these new uh, shutters, I can locate them. Oh, I need bronze nails for that. Okay. No problem. I can do that. A little half wall there and a half wall there. Put a shutter here and a shutter here. Now we got ourselves like a nice little gate, which is awesome. And I think now, actually, I want to redo the walls around my... Uh... Yeah, I do, actually. I want to redo the walls around my uh, crops. But we'll worry about that for another video. Let's finish building the hutch. We want to put a roof on this hutch, too, because otherwise the wood is going to eventually wear out, and that's going to be a problem. So, we want to make sure everything is well protected. Oh, I'm out of wood again. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let me go chop down some trees here. Ah, fueling! Yeehaw! I'm trying to chop wood. Are you made of wood? I didn't think so. So leave me alone. Alright, with that, the hutch is done. We just need to get the boar inside. I think I might want to do just a tiny bit more terraforming in this back corner. Alright, piggies. I see one of you over there. Chase me. Ah! Today! Okay. Come on in. And there we go. Piggy is mine. It's okay, Piggy. Here. Have some mushrooms. I heard you will eat mushrooms now. Alright, so it looks like the boar will not eat his food until we leave. So we're going to get out of the area. And uh, come back and check on him later. So while we're waiting for the boar to eat, I think it'd be a good idea to actually replace this throne with a stone throne. To make a stone throne, I am going to need a stone cutter, 20 stone, 2 deer hide, and 2 wolf pelt. That's easy. So we just delete this one. Should give us some resources. And uh, grab what we need. So let's see. We can put the fine wood away. Got a lot of fine wood right now. Stone, deer hide, wolf pelt. We're going to need to build a stone cutter. What's it take to build a stone cutter? Iron, wood, and stone. Okay, we can easily come up with that resource. Wood, I'm going to need a little bit more wood. Got some wood pile right here. No, I don't. Okay, uh, that's fine. We can come up with wood. There is plenty of wood to be had. Ah, chain reaction! The good old Valheim chain reaction. Alright, so we should have everything we should need to build the stone cutter. And then from the stone cutter, build the stone throne. A little in the roof. So was the last one. I like it. I like it. Yes. That, that is pretty awesome. Look at that throne. That is gorgeous. That is awesome. All right. Dismantle that. And I guess we can go check on our pig. Oh, yellow hearts. I see it. He's taming. Are you still aggressive? Ah. Tameness 
4% frightened. Okay. This is going to take a while, but it's fine. So while we're still waiting on Mr. Piggy, let's see if we can go find some of this dark wood. I would imagine something called dark wood, we would probably find it in the dark forest. So let's get the metal out of my inventory, clean up my inventory a little bit, and go exploring. All right, we are now here in the plains, fully stocked up, ready to go. You may be wondering why we're in the plains. Well, I did a little bit of research before leaving, and I discovered that dark wood isn't something you find. It's something you make. And to make it, you need tar. And tar pits are found in the plains. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find any tar that I can use to make some dark wood. Ah, I think that's a tar pit right there. Certainly looks like it. Now, I heard there's some very dangerous enemies here. Ooh. Ooh, my blocking seal's going up. It's called Groats. Oh, they're picking fights with some locks. Darkwood gate. Ooh, shingle roof. Oh, hell yeah. Darkwood pole. Darkwood carved divider. Oh, Lord have mercy. Black metal chest. Darkwood chair. Oh, hot tub. A long heavy table. Oh, Lord have mercy. Stuck in the tar. Oh, God. Hey, guys. I was not expecting you to follow me into the tar. Looks like we might be coming home with some locks, me boys. Oh, maybe we're not coming home with some locks, me. It's okay. We got a portal. We know where to get our stuff back. All right, recover our things. Equip, 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 equip. Some food. And we'll be back into the action in no time. Now that we've started the fight with the locks, we have to finish it. There we go. Locks is dead. Locks meat! Locks pet! So it seems that to get the rest of this tar, I'm going to have to drain the tar pit. I was hoping that this would be a renewable resource, but it seems I was sadly mistaken about that. And it is draining the tar pit. Slowly but surely. So we just gotta keep digging. Alright, so it looks like I might be able to pick up some of this tar now. It's really dark because it's really late. Um, holy crap, that was a lot of tar. And then all the gold from the... Uh... Oh yeah, look at all this tar. Look at all this tar. Oh yeah, baby. So we got over two full stacks of tar. We should be able to do some really amazing things with that. Unfortunately, I drained the tar pit of a friend because because all of my existing plains biomes, apparently uh, existing plains biomes that you've already explored will not spawn tar pits. you got to go to newly explored areas. He explored that yesterday, which is why I was able to basically jump over there with a portal. So I owe him some resources. I owe him a lot of resources for the tar. So, what can we build with the tar? We want to make a dark wood gate. So, to do that, we need tar, we need wood, and we need iron. I've got some iron for at least a dark wood gate, but I'm probably going to have to end up going and uh, mining up a lot more iron. I think there's also a resource now where you can get iron from some mob. So, if we're going to be doing stuff with tar, or with dark wood. We want a dark wood gate. We want to build it here. Yeah? Yeah. I agree. Oh, we need two of these buggers. 
which means I need more iron. Maybe if I dismantle one of these, that'll be enough iron. Just enough iron. Okay. There we go. Darkwood gate. I like it. Oh, that looks good. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. We need to make more of this, obviously, which means I need to go get more iron. That's going to be a very long and lengthy process that we sadly do not have time for. At least for this video. So let's go check on our pig one last time. We got hearts. We got hearts. Acclimatizing. Okay. Tameness 12. All right. So it's going to take a while to tame him fully. And honestly, there's probably better foods to do it with than mushrooms. But yeah, there's a lot to do now, and I'm excited to play more of this game. I hope you'll be excited with me and join me in our Valheim adventures going forward. We will be doing more of this in the future uh, alongside Dead by Daylight and Sea of Thieves content. So I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one. And until then, everyone, I am Force, and you guys stay awesome. I'll catch you later.